name is Risha. I am the curator here at FCHM and today we have another clothing collections reveal. If you saw the little snippet before just now, there were several wedding dresses up here. This one is out right now and this is the one we're going to talk about today. But I showed that because I'm going to see if you guys can guess what decade this dress is from. Each dress is from a different decade and so I'll talk about each of them. But let's look at this one today. I'm not gonna say the, I'm not gonna say the year. So I'd like people to maybe guess in the comments and then I'll go ahead and reply the answer if somebody gets it right. But here we have this dress. Let's go ahead and jump on in. A full length off-white lace embroidered tulle dress. So it has cap sleeves, a sweetheart neckline, and the entire dress is over a satin base. There are stays in the side seams and a zippered back. You'll see with this one that it's not zipped up. There is a zipper in the back, but the lady who wore this, a Mrs. Blunt, she was quite a bit smaller than any of our dress forms, so we're not gonna force that up and uh, damage the dress in any way. So the opening is still there, and there's some hook and eyes placed up there too for extra security. And there's this veil on top you can see too. It's shoulder length, and it has illusion white net attached to this floral piece at the top. And it also, underneath, you can't really see it, but there is a crinoline net and silk dotted Swiss petticoat, and it has four layers, so that's to completely add to that huge volume we have going on here. From what I've seen with this dress, the most telling part of it for which decade it's from is the veil. It has to do with how this decade shorter shoulder length veils became popular and also these flowers were really, really, it was like flower power, so that's a big hint for you. This was a time when wedding dresses were becoming less and less traditional. It was a time when even less white was being worn. So Queen Victoria in the 1840s, she popularized the white dress for wearing at your wedding. We've seen royals and people who are very popular, entertainers, tend to be very influential on wedding dresses and wedding styles. So after Queen Victoria, the white wedding dress was very, very popular. And in this decade that this dress is from, it became a little bit less popular. Some people were starting to wear colors for their wedding dresses, especially if it was a second or third wedding. We see that in some of the celebrities of the time. Mini dresses were also popular, so that's another clue. And in that was a little bit later in the decade. It was a time of bouffants and pillbox hats. The long dress was also still popular, but again, they, it was becoming more and more shorter and shorter. So this one was a little bit more traditional for the time. You can see this huge skirt with, it was full length all the way down to the floor. And we've got this sweetheart neckline that was a little bit popular at the time as well. And Again, most did wear white, but daring few, like I said, had florals and pastels. It was a flower power decade. Teased hair with that pillbox or shorter veil was very popular at the time. Can anybody guess? Anybody know? I've given a few clues. Anybody know what decade this Freeborn County ladies dress is from? 